So I've just been looking at my YouTube channel and it turns out the last time I told all of you what's in my camera bag was over a year ago and I feel like that has to change. So today we're going to take a look at what's in my camera bag version 2. Roll that intro. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. This video is definitely long, long overdue and I felt it was about time to tell all of you what's in my camera bag, version two. So let's take a look at all the stuff in my camera bag. We've got a top down view here. Hopefully you'll get a, a good view of um, what I have. So, what better place to start this video than with the camera bag itself. So, so this is the camera bag that I have been using for the better part of like half a year now. This is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450AW2. I think I got that right. And this, this is great. Literally, just lots of space. That's why I needed it. See, camera goes in there, uh, monitor in there, extra space for like clothes and stuff like that. Sleeves for filters, uh, laptop goes in there. Pretty good size, looks a little something like that. How do I look? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Fantastic bag, really fantastic bag. Uh, to the side. Right, now that we've got the camera bag out of the way, I think we should move on to what camera I am using currently, which is my Sony A7 III. Now, I got this a year ago, and it has been the best upgrade that I have ever made. This has been my workhorse for every project over the past year and a half, and I have loved every second of it. Just, just a really good camera. And paired with the a7 III, we have the only lens that I have in my camera bag. This is the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 art lens. And this is all that I have really needed. This has been great. I love this lens, absolutely love it. With the lens out of the way, we're gonna move straight on to my filters of choice. Now, these are both from Polar Pro, but they do very different things. So if we start with this one, this is the Peter McKinnon Mist Edition 2 variable ND filter. And I love this thing absolutely love this thing. They are expensive, <laughs> not gonna lie, but they're really good. They're really, really good. Um, the case it comes in, it's called a Defender 360. It just houses it inside and you literally just screw this onto the front of your lens and you peel off this sleeve and you don't actually have to touch it at all. One of the best uh, filters I've ever used, and I've used a lot, used a lot of filters, and this is mwah. Then the second one, similar concept, but this is just a mist. Uh, this is a quarter strength, and it's exactly the same as the Peter McKinnon one. Filters in there. What should we move on to next? I'm gonna move on to this. I'm gonna move on to this. This is, I quite like this. So this is a top handle. And it's part of their F22 system, which I have the cage on this camera right now. And their unique selling point is just how easy it is to clip it things together just just a lap and just keeps the space in your camera bag to an absolute minimal it's just really handy and it's like it's just a really good quality build it is metal 
which is great. Really good top handle. Talking of Ulanzi, this is my tripod of choice. This is another collaboration piece, Ulanzi and Komen. And this tripod has been an absolute tank. By the time this goes out, uh, my review video on this should be on high channel, hopefully. What I love about it is just how small it is. Really good. And I can just stick it on the side of my camera bag. <sighs> Let's go on to this next. Literally SD card holder, very standard SD card holder. It's just something off of Amazon. Gonna move on to this next, which is my camera strap of choice. So this is the one from Peak Design. It's the largest one that they have and really, really nice quality strap. And paired with the strap, I have the Peak Design capture clip uh, with the Peak anchors on it. So the plate will screw to the underside of my camera and then I attach these, I attach the strap to the clip and then it's a strap which has a quick release system on it. Now I did get this idea from Gunner Did It. I saw his video and it was, it was just like, oh my God, I have those and that's such a clever idea. Uh, so he can have all the credit. I wouldn't take any credit on that. Just a really clever idea to turn a strap into a quick release with the products that you have. It's just a really, really clever idea. So, I'm gonna go on to these next. Uh, these are just batteries. These are just batteries. Um, so, these are for my Sony A7 III. Comes with a charger, so that, and then underneath that, is my battery charger for my MPF batteries that I use to power my monitor. Um, right here, we have some business cards. So company, Flint and Steel. Um, and then on the back is my whole email address, but it's split into the company name and the website and who I am and my Instagram, just keeping it very simple and minimal. And underneath that is my tag, a just a simple aim tag. The reason why I have this, and a lot of people might not, know, well, probably don't know this about me, um, is that I have suffered with a bit of a stutter since I was a kid. Um, and a repercussion of that is that I struggle to say who I am to people, which is kind of crucial in this industry to kind of introduce who you are to people to try and get clients. Um, so it's always been a bit of a struggle. Uh, and this has just been a really easy way to just get over that hurdle because people can just see who I am straight away. And then once that's out the way, uh, I'm a chatterbox and I can't shut up because I enjoy talking to people despite the fact that I've had had despite the fact that I've had a stutter. Um, so that's just a really handy thing to have on me uh, when I go to networking events or photography shows and stuff like that. Passport. This stays in my camera bag all the time because then I know exactly where it is. I never leave it at home, I always know. Just a really nice case, love a good bit of tweed. And yeah, just on the off chance that I do go traveling, which uh, I'm starting to more and more these days, I always know where this passport is. This pouch is full of cables. So you're greeted on the outside with a lot of pins. Uh, I'm not a patch guy, I'm a pin guy. I uh, just love pins and the feeling of them and just the quality of them just really like it uh, and we've just got an assortment of cables in there USB type C I have a SD cards to lightning adapter for when I need to edit on the go uh, stuff for my Apple devices that's for my phone uh, stuff for my gimbal just a whole load of cables right in there what should we move on to next? Uh, let's go on to the MPF battery. So very simple, just two MPF batteries. 
to power up my Atoma Shinobi monitor. A roll of electrical tape. I always keep that in my, in my bag. I find it more useful than gaff tape in the stuff that I do. Like I use it to strap on its amounts to my handle, uh, audio to somewhere. I've just found this a lot easier than gaff tape. Not to say that that's the same situation for everyone, but a roll of electrical tape has just been really handy in my bag. We've got a cleaning cloth right here. Not a lot to say, this just cleans stuff really well. It's just a really good thing to have in your camera bag. Samsung T5 SSD, one of the best purchases I've ever made. I just love how small and compact they are. Uh, this is a two terabyte one. Just love how it's USB type C because a lot of my stuff is these days. Transfer speeds really quick. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have a lot more of these in the future. This is my, uh, you could call it a multi tool. You really could. It's literally just some Allen keys from Halfords. Uh, I probably should get a proper multi tool because this one is starting to come apart. There should be a back plate and there's not. But this has just been good for just twisting on stuff and taking stuff off. That's literally all that I use it for and screwing stuff in. It's literally all it is. And then I believe the last thing on my list is my computer of choice. So this is the MacBook Air M2. This is the brand new one. And I love this thing. I love this thing so much, so much. Um, it's so quick. And I've had a lot of questions from people saying is, why did you get that instead of like the MacBook Pros, the new ones? Um, the only thing I use this for pretty much is when I'm on the go and I need to transfer footage to the computer just so I know I've got a backup of it. That's what I use it for. And also just reviewing the footage that I've shot because previously I had a MacBook Pro 13 inch from like 2016, 2015, 2016, and it could not play back 4K. And that is a lot of the stuff that I'm shooting these days. I uh, I don't really shoot 1080p anymore unless it's slow-mo, because that's all the A7 III can do. But this can play back 4K at full quality, quite a few streams of it as well, and it's, it's not a problem. And the reason why I got this as well is because of how small it is. It's just really small and I love that about it. Uh, and paired with that is a SD card adapter because this MacBook Air M2 does not have any ports apart from two USB Type-C ports and a headphone jack, that's it. So I'm still having to use adapters. Uh, I don't mind really, this is a USB Type-C one and the other side is a USB a1, hardly use it, because a lot of my stuff these days are USB Type-C. Uh, but this has been handy, and a really cheap thing, and I can't believe you're able to transfer stuff on something so small. And I believe, with that adapter out the way, that is everything that is in my camera bag, version 2. Well, I hope you all enjoyed uh, discovering the sorts of things I have in my camera bag. If you have any questions about any of these and want to know a little bit more, then please feel free to get in touch in the comments down below, or you can get in touch with me on Instagram. If you like the sort of content that I'm putting out and want to see more, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video every time, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers guys.